Hello guys, it's me Allison and welcome to my weekly meltdowns coverage of Big Brother 18, The Power of Veto. Where do I even begin with this episode? Well, Paul won the POV and Corey is now up in his spot. But not one minute before calling everyone out on their shit, which included telling them, you guys suck at this game. He has a point to a certain extent. Why would you listen to anything Polly says when he's basically a dead man walking? If I know I'm going out the door and not coming back, I'm gonna tell you anything and everything I can, especially if I'm pissed off. I'm having issues tonight, people, so the clicker is basically my co-host tonight. Another thing that I noticed tonight is it's not an act, people. It's not an act with Corey. He really is that stupid. And she said, I'm not a mean person. I'm not a bully. I'm not going to sit here and go off about how, how really stupid he is. But I mean, when, when it's obvious that people are fucking fighting and you come out stripping off that damn patriotic unitard and stop in the middle of it and go, Oh my God, are you fine? What the fuck do you think's going on right now? I love Paul. But Michelle is right. Paul needs to go because he is a big time manipulator. And I don't think it's a manipulator in a bad way. He just knows how to work a room and to get people to do what he wants. Let's talk about the power of veto real quick. And now the backdoor plan is in place, as far as I know, to send Corey home and help help Victor. Keep Victor. Jesus. Here's the thing. I love Victor, but if they have a brain at all, they will send Victor home simply because he is a comp beast. And somebody brought up a really good point. If all of the jurors are going to be back tomorrow night, will Victor be able to participate in the buyback? I'm pretty sure he will. And if, but think if they send him out the door and they don't know this is going on, I'm pretty sure it's either going to be him or Polly come back in the house. I cannot wait to see the look on their faces when Julie Chen says one of these jurors has come back in this damn house. It just fills me with so much glee. I love how. Natalie gets upset when she believes that she made a mistake letting Victor and Paul get nominated. It's like she said last week, oh my god, I'm HO8. Whoa. Sorry, I went into Nicole mode. So I'm really happy that I got to be HOH, but now I realize I have to nominate people. I'm gonna be nice. I'm, I'm gonna be nice. So here's my predictor for Thursday night. You guys all know how on the nose I am with this. I think Corey will go home. I think the jurors will compete. And I believe Polly will be the one that comes back into the house. Or they may vote Victor out and then Victor will be the one that comes back in the house. Who knows? I'm just irate that somebody's, I think the only reason why they're letting somebody else come back in the house is because they didn't get to, the, the whole round trip thing kind of blew up Big Brother's face. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow night for the eviction episode. Um... Please like and share my weekly meltdown on Facebook and YouTube. I am also on Twitter at Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S 1977. I am also on Instagram at the.memphis.darling. If you're looking for some really cool Big Brother groups to join, please go down into the body of this YouTube video. I have posted some really cool groups that I am a member of, one in particular is Rants and Giggles, Big Brother. Also, if you love listening to podcasts, I'm obsessed with them, go over to Rob Has a Website and listen to his Big Brother podcast. He does a really good roundup every day. He's pretty, probably pretty much up by now of Big Brother. Thank you for all your support. I love you all, and I will see you all tomorrow night.